It's the son of Mary, Ibn Maryam, Rasulullah, was a messenger of Allah. So that's the first thing, he's a messenger of yeah. Allah. Well, kalimatuhu, his word, al yeah, yeah. Maryam, which was placed in, in Mary. The reason why I stopped you is just, mm. min. it mentions a soul mm. from him. Okay, yeah. Then the translator, yeah. which is common, when you translate, yeah. you want the person to understand it. Okay. So it's added the words yeah. created yeah. from him. From the him. word created is not there, okay, but yeah. it's understood. But it should uh, not be there though. Um, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a translation sort of form. It's, it's normal. Sometimes you get yeah. translations which are word for word. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. And yeah. sometimes when you translate from one language to the other, word yeah. for word, it can lose the meaning or yeah. it can uh, confuse the meaning. Okay, all right. So this translation, that's why yeah. I told you, yeah, to, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. The word there has, has, is translating the intent also. Okay, okay. Which happens. Okay. Anyway, okay. a soul okay. from him. So then Allah commands, so believe in Allah and believe in his messengers. Do not say three, as in do not say the Trinity. If you cease from this and stop saying that God is free, Allah is saying this is better for you. Because verily Allah is one God. Glory to him, mm. and uh, Subhana in Arabic is used when you glorify something and you free mm. something from all mm. imperfections or all types of criticism. Mm. Glory to him that he should take a son. Mm. Everything in the heavens mm. and the earth belongs to him. Mm. Okay. And Allah is okay. sufficient as yeah. a wakila is like a, a yeah. guardian and a protector. Okay. Yeah. So. When you look at the whole context of the verse, okay. it's, advi it's giving advice to the Jews and the Christians, yeah. do not go to extreme. Yeah. It's telling them that do not say Jesus is the Son of God, yeah. do not say the Trinity, okay. rather God is one. And it's making yeah. Jesus the main thing it's saying that he's yeah. a messenger from Allah. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. Then there's two words okay. which uh, sometimes cause uh, confusion or mm. people, some, sometimes Christians will try to link to Christianity. Yeah. So the first one is uh, Kalima. Yeah. If you want, I can give you evidence or I can just explain. Uh, ex explain. Okay. Well, if you say evidence, so like what kind of evidence? I will show you how the Quran explains the Quran. Okay. So All Jesus right. himself, yeah. he's called the word of Allah in multiple places in Quran. Okay. Yeah. I think it'd be easy if I show you. Okay. Then. So this is uh, chapter 3. Chapter 3 yeah. is concerning um, when Mary, Maryam, is giving glad tidings of a son. Jesus and she and the Quran affirms that she was she was virgin. Three verse what? Uh, this ayah of verse uh, forty-seven. So it mentions. Uh, me go on Quran .com. So it says, Mary wondered, My Lord, how can I have a child when no man has ever touched me? An angel replied, So will it be. Allah creates what he wills, when he, de when he decrees a matter, he simply tells it be and it is. Okay. Yeah, yes, that's it. Yes, okay. Alhamdulillah, that's basically what's here. Okay. So Maryam, she's yeah. giving glad tidings that she's going to have a child okay. by the angel Gabriel, yeah. which is obviously is very shocking for her. Mm -hmm. she's, in Islam, we don't have a, a husband called Joseph. She, okay, yeah. she just simply says that yeah. no man has touched me. Yeah, yeah, how, can I be, how can I be pregnant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in response, the angel says, like, like that, yeah. Allah creates yeah. whatever he wills. And you say be and be. So okay. for us, the son of Mary yeah. is creation. We okay. don't believe Jesus is a pre-existing cre uh, creation. Okay. We don't believe it's God. We believe it's a human being who was created without a father. So you guys don't believe in incarnation of no. God? No, no. Okay. So, so, the, so the first point which uh, addresses that is, yeah that Allah creates whatever he wishes. So Jesus is creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it mentions that verily when, when he decrees a matter, mm -hmm. when Allah decrees a matter, mm -hmm. he simply says be and, and it, it is. Be, and it is. So for us, we're normally, everything mm -hmm. is obviously the creation of Allah. Like mm -hmm. our parents, when they had us, the, the method is created by Allah, but the okay. normal method is a man yeah. has relationships with a woman, yeah, yeah. the woman becomes pregnant, yeah, yeah, yeah. if Allah wills, she'll give birth after nine months. Okay, right. But because Jesus was without a father, yeah. it was the command of God, of be, God be and it was. Okay. So from an Islamic perspective, we yeah. say it's due to the word of God, the command okay. of God. Okay. Not that the Jesus is 
yeah. uh, the uncreated word of God. Yeah. Like, um, just one more verse. This is okay. the same chapter uh, 59. 59 uh, okay. In the method of Isa, in the like in method of Adam. Verily, the example of Jesus with mm. Allah, the method of Adam is like the example of Adam. Okay. Sorry, uh, let, no, let me just read sorry, it. Sorry. 59, yeah. In, indeed, the example of Jesus in the sight of Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, and then said to him, Be and yours. Okay. So, when we look at um, mm. the, no, the normal way a child is born, mm. a mother mm. and a father. Mm. When we look at our father, Adam, mm. there was no mother and father. Mm. God created him from dust. Mm and said be mm. and he was mm. when we look at mary mm. uh, sorry uh, eve or mm. hawa mm. i believe in the bible but also in the quran uh, or in the, the teachings of the prophet mm. she was created from the upper left rib of adam okay. so she was created from a man, from a man yeah. without a mother okay and then jesus came mm. and he was created mm from a mother mm. without a father yeah, okay. so you can see so basically yeah. the, the example of Adam yeah. the example of Jesus yeah. is like the example of Adam Adam okay. was created from dust and yeah. God said it be and yeah. it was and so it the was. intent okay. here is the word is be and it was okay okay as as for a soul yeah and there's there's other verses to that to that effect as well yeah. as for the soul yeah um, we, so, be, we believe all so yeah. yeah okay no I, I, I'm just um, Summarizing what you're saying, so basically you're saying that like um, it's not really the spirit that's coming from Allah, but is the created. Um, yeah, that's concerning soul. the word. The word. Okay. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the soul, yeah. Well, it says ruh from Him. Okay. Okay. We're, we don't believe that Jesus is God or part of God. Okay. But yeah. like Allah mentions in um, chapter yeah. thirty-two of the Quran. Okay. Um, this is about the creation of mankind. Okay. Uh, so, talking yeah. about Allah, He is the one who perfected everything He created. Mm. And He began the creation of mankind mm. from a teen, like clay. Mm, okay. Mm. And He breathed in Him from His soul. Mm. So, here is talking about Adam. Mm. The, he was created by God breathing in, in Adam mm. from his soul. Okay. Here meaning the soul which God created. created so the yeah. same way yeah. Jesus is a soul from yeah. God, yeah. Adam is also was given a soul from God. Okay. And then okay. God has made you hearing and seeing yeah. and has given you hearts. Yeah. So basically that description of yeah. Jesus being a soul yeah. from God, yeah. it doesn't distinguish him from other people who okay. will also have souls so, from yeah. God. Okay, so that you said that, yeah. so like, what confuses me the most is, is the character of Isa himself. Yes. He has a lot of interesting let's say um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um things in, signs in, in, miracles signs and miracles yes but some of those signs and miracles shouldn't be like attributes to god only like to allah only yeah yeah yeah. like for example creation of life uh -huh. like isa created um life by making a bird out of mud in, in the quran yes yeah in the quran right yeah. so like some of those things you're like okay well okay like he, he created uh, life out of mud. No human being can ever do that. Uh -huh. No one has ever done that in in the, in the history of lifetime. You as far as you know, yes. Yes, yes. far I'm with, as I'm with you, yeah. Um, but he, also, he gave life to a dead person. Yeah. He, gave he, life to he a dead cured person. a person who yeah. was born with le leprosy. Yeah. Or yeah. He cured him. But those things, I'm I'm okay with that because, <laughs> yes. like, when you're dead, yeah. is you're not really dead in Allah's eyes, right? Your the soul's just been taken out. Yeah. So if like for me, let's say I can come up and if if I'm like praying to to Allah a lot of times, and I can come up and say, God, let this soul come back to him, and then God can let it go. But you done it, or God done it through you? God done it through me. Yeah. So yeah. God God done it through me. Yeah. But then, wouldn't it be like because you see, there's a a, a hierarchy of like of things. Yeah. So like creating something out of nothing. Yeah should not only belong to Allah? No. Uh, from our perspective, yeah. no. 
Yeah. Um, you asked about the Ruh, you asked about the soul. What was the first question? The first question, it was, what was the Messiah? Okay, Second, Messiah, yeah. the soul, the yeah. word, and yeah. now on the issue of the miracles of Jesus. The miracles. But like, um, uh, wait, before I finish that, that's, that's one side. But also you have, he has never died. Uh -huh. Right. So uh, Allah took him yes. to be with Allah. So that means he is, according to the Quran, he's above seven heavens next to Allah's throne. It doesn't mention that in that specific detail. But if you say in the context, it'd be like he took him to, to himself. Him. Yeah. yeah, to him. Yeah. Which could mean the direction of him or yeah. to him. I, we can't affirm the details yeah. okay, because yeah. In Islam, we understand yeah. the Quran yeah. and we understand the Sunnah. Okay, yeah, yeah. According yeah. to the Sunnah, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he went on the night journey, yeah. and he travelled through the heavens. Yeah. And when he travelled through the heavens, he yeah. met yeah. previous prophets, like he met Abraham, he met Moses, yeah, yeah, yeah. he met uh, Jesus yeah. and John the Baptist. Yeah. I, and it mentioned the heavens they they met on. Okay. I would have to look it up, yeah. but I think Jesus. Yeah. It could, I can't remember the figure, but it wasn't above the seventh heaven. It was okay. one of the, the other heavens. So okay. the, in the Quran. Yeah. Uh, but back to the point of the miracles. Yeah. Uh, the miracles of Jesus, mm -hmm. they're mentioned in the same chapters, in chapter 3 yeah. and chapter 5 mo mostly. Okay. And every time it mentions mm -hmm. the miracles, it mentions bi idnillah, by the permission of Allah, mm -hmm. or bi idnihi, by his permission. Mm -hmm. So we believe that all the messengers, they were given certain miracles mm -hmm. to prove to their people and to show their people they were from God. Okay, okay, okay. But all of yeah. these miracles were not performed by yeah. the messenger, the human being themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something which God, God done, done to through them, them. Okay. to show that a sign. But okay. when you come back to uh, creating the bird from clay, yeah. which is not mentioned in the Bible, yeah. it's mentioned in the Quran. Right, yeah. When you look at um, yeah. Moses, yeah, yeah, Musa alayhi yeah. salam. Musa alayhi salam took a stick, yeah. a dead stick, a dead stick yeah. and threw it on the ground. And it became a snake. And it became a snake, a, snake. a yeah. huge snake. Yeah, yeah, of course. So this is also a miracle, yeah. but we wouldn't say that this yeah. means that Moses God. must be God or a high level of God. So, so we, so we make, we make a distinction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But definitely. I agree. It's, it's an amazing miracle that yeah. other people can't do, but okay. it's to show mm -hmm. that they are sent by God. Okay. So, but the thing is, when you when when a person mm -hmm. wants to understand anything, mm -hmm. they need to take the whole context. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the miracles about Jesus, mm -hmm. and then the miracles, like in the Quran, when it mentions the miracles of Jesus, mm -hmm. it mentions that in the end he says, mm -hmm. Allah Rabbi wa Rabbukum hada mm -hmm. Jesus said mm -hmm. that verily Allah mm -hmm. is my Lord mm -hmm. and your Lord, mm -hmm. so worship Him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus. Mm -hmm. According to the Quran, mm. he, on the Day of Judgment, he will be asked, mm. did you ask people to worship you mm. alongside God? Mm. And he would, he would say, glory to you, mm. never could I say such a thing. Mm. I only said that which you commanded me, mm. which was to worship my God and your God. Okay. So, the, so that theme and mm. that idea is basically the basis of the whole Quran. The Quran okay. covers many things, okay. past nations, yeah. events in the future, paradise, okay. hellfire, yeah. commandments, prohibitions. But if someone reads the Quran, the main thing you're going to get is that God is one, He has no partners, and to worship Him alone. Like Allah asked the question, is it, yeah. is it, do you expect that a, a messenger would come mm. and would tell the people to worship them yeah, beside okay. God? Would yeah. they command you to disbelieve yeah. after belief? Yeah. So the most important thing for us is God is one mm. and worship Him alone. And this was the message of Jesus. Yeah. What we understand is after Jesus was taken up, yeah. the people, they, they changed the religion. They mixed yeah. with the, the Roman Greco yeah. ideas. Yeah. And for them, the idea of yeah. God becoming man or God having relationship with humans and having children for uh, like governors or generals in armies to become God after they die. These were common beliefs. These were common ideas. Like they didn't have this. Um, in the world we live in today, you have a very clear distinction between creation and God. In some cultures, including the, the Greco-Roman world, they had like a, you know, levels. Mm -hmm. This person could be human and God, this person divine and semi-divine, this one is fully divine. Mm -hmm. So that's the world they, live in, they were living in. Okay, yeah. So f for us, we would say that the message of Jesus, mm -hmm. after he was taken up, he, it was mm -hmm. mixed 
mm. with the beliefs of the time. Mm. Hence, you have things like Easter, mm. uh, Christmas, which have no basis. I don't believe in those beliefs yeah. because Christmas, there is no, there is no evidence that yeah, yeah, the Bible yeah. was born yeah. on Christmas Day. Yeah. Easter. Uh, it's all about bunnies and stuff like that, but it should be more about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, so we would say that they took the beliefs of the time and the teaching of Jesus and they mm -hmm. mixed it. I agree with you on that one. That's okay. why yeah. in Islam, the Prophet Muhammad yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even the Quran is mentioned, yeah. but the, uh, the the hadith, the statements of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam go into more detail yeah. that Jesus will return. Of course. But when he yeah. returns, mm -hmm. What he will do is different to what the Christians believe. Mm. Many Christians believe that Jesus will mm. return as God mm. and he will judge, the day of judgment will take place and Jesus will be the judge. Mm. Do you not guys believe that they will judge? No, him? no. The problem is the word. Okay. When okay, you yeah. go to the hadith, yeah. the hadith, if I'm not mistake, mistaken, it mentions uh, yeah. he will give hukum or yuhkum. Yeah. He will rule. Okay. We, we believe that when Jesus returns, he will yeah. do five things. Okay, okay. He will, it's mentioned, he will return mm. in the uh, east of Damascus, okay. the, a white minaret. There's yeah. a masjid in Damascus which has a white minaret. Yeah. This, at the time the Prophet ﷺ said this, Islam wasn't in Syria. Mm. It was still under Christian rule. There was no masjid there. But the Prophet ﷺ described the place where he would descend. Mm. When he comes back, he will, he will break the cross. Mm -hmm. As in to, to, as to symbolize mm. that I did not die for your sins. Mm. The, the symbol of Christianity is false. Okay. Yeah. This is the Islamic perspective. Of course, of he, course, will, yeah. Um, yeah. he will kill the pig. Okay. Meaning the idea where uh, mm. Christianity has taught, not all Christians, but most, the Orthodox Christianity has taught that the law has been abolished. That's not true. I'm with you. So Jesus will, as, as yeah. a symbol of this, to mm. kill the pig. But this is one of the major mm. symbols that you can eat whatever you want and you don't have to follow the law of Moses anymore. Which we believe, according to the Bible, Jesus followed the law, the disciples followed the law. It was something later that they didn't have, that the, was taught that people don't have to follow the law. So he will uh, break the cross, kill the Antichrist. Uh, sorry, break the cross, kill the pig, kill the Antichrist. You know, the, the false messiah who there are people who are still waiting for him to come of course, yeah. and they will follow him so he will be killed by Jesus mm -hmm. then he will rule mm -hmm. so this is where the word is because mm -hmm. rule it can have the word meaning of judgment as well mm -hmm. but for us Jesus when he returns he will rule by Islam he will rule by the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. by the Quran and Sunnah mm -hmm. and lastly he will abolish the law of Jizya okay. in, in Islam Jizya Not, is when the tax pays. No. Yeah, Jizya is a, is a tax when yeah. you have Muslims ruling over a land. The Jews or mm. Christians or others, they don't want to embrace Islam. Mm. So they live under Muslim rule, mm. but they pay a tax, a Jizya okay. tax. Okay. So when Jesus comes, that, that will be abolished. But what, why is that though? Like, why, if, if we. Like if anybody doesn't want to believe in a certain religion, uh -huh. why do they have to pay tax? I mean, we can go, we can discuss the wisdom. Okay, okay. But for okay, us, okay, let's no, 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 it's yeah. fine. But yeah. I would say for us, yeah. like, just to give an example, okay, okay. why is forbidden to eat pork? No. Yeah, of course, there's a wisdom in that. We like, can, we, you can go to the doctors and the scientists and yeah, they can give course. you benefits, the yeah. harm of the body, etc. Yeah. But the reality is, God said so. Of course. Yeah. So for us, the jizya, yeah. we can explain to you the benefits okay. or the, the purpose, even okay. if people don't like it. Okay. We would say this is from God, so this is right. Okay. We say it's to, it's to put the Jews and the Christians down as well. Okay. But they are free to follow their, their religion, they're free to practice their... Like, yeah. if you see Iraq, Syria, yeah, yeah, Palestine, yeah. Uh, Egypt, yeah. the, you still have Christian communities yeah, yeah, yeah. from the time when Islam conquered the land. Oh, yeah. You still have Jewish communities yeah. there. With a lot of the wars and politics that happened, yeah. a lot of the situation has changed. Of course. But anyway, yeah. so, so Islam, teaches you may have muslims who uh, don't follow the law and they oppress the jews and christians but they're allowed to live and follow their own way but, but anyway when jesus comes that will be abolished people will either accept the religion of jesus the religion of moses the religion of abraham the religion of muhammad or so let me summarize so the five things that when you come you'll be um you say you break the cross um you'll kill the uh, the antichrist 
he will um, kill the pig. Kill the pig, and then he will rule. Rule, which yeah. is, you say that like that's a misunderstanding. And, and because the word is similar, yeah. then some Christians have said your book says yeah. you judge. But you that's judge, okay. but the thing is. Yeah. If, if someone wants to come and say Islam is wrong, that's okay. their, yeah. their business. Obviously, we don't okay. agree with them. Okay. But if you yeah. want to say Islam is wrong, yeah. don't tell us our books say something it doesn't say. Okay. Don't tell us, course, don't yeah, interpret yeah. our books in a way yeah, yeah, yeah. that no Muslim scholar has interpreted it. So course, yeah. I think they, some people do this out of ignorance okay. and some people, they do, I say they do it out of dishonesty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, Jesus will rule. Yeah. The thing is, the only reason why I say that is because I have a lot of Muslim friends yeah, yeah, yeah. who say that. I'm not getting this from any yeah, Christian yeah, yeah. perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting it from I, I, will, I will give you reference for the hadith okay. you, uh, when I finish. But yeah. see the Christian concept, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I think many Christians are not aware. Mm. But Christianity is built on Greek philosophy. Mm. One of the things which they had mm. in, because you know the, the Jews, mm -hmm. Before the Romans, you know, in the time of Jesus, the Romans were ruling that part of the world. Okay. Before that, it was the Greeks, of course, yeah. Alexander the Great, and then his uh, four generals after him. It's called the Hellenistic period. There was a lot of time when the, the yeah. Jewish people, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were, you can say they were oppressed, mm -hmm. and also they were very affected by mm -hmm. Greek uh, thinking and Greek philosophy. Mm -hmm. So they had a thing, the Greek philosophy, they had a mm -hmm. thing called logos. Okay. What's translated as the word. Okay. Logos was something where they believe that God is so separate and so distinct from his creation, there can't be any relationship between the creation. So they, Greek philosophy came up with a, a theory of Logos, the word. And this Logos is basically, it has to be from God, but also different from God, like the creation, so it can interact between the two. And then this logos would be the so that's why they make Jesus the creator. Mm -hmm. They make Jesus the intermediary between man and the um, the judge, because they believe that God, the separate that he can't do these things. That's why they had to have a logos. But in Islam, the concept of who is God it comes from revelation. So would you? Because I know I know what you're going to say with this one. Would you like? argue that like um the, the jewish scripture which is the torah and the the the, the prophets and the and and all of that would you say that like because he has it a lot of times where god kept saying to the israelites that there is going to be a servant of god yeah where god's spirit will be in him yeah which means that it will be man and god in yeah. one um, to you know save uh, uh, people's sins and stuff yeah. like that so would you say that like the Jewish I, I want someone stop the fight sorry uh, someone should stop the fight anyway yeah. yeah so would you say that like um no like what the Jewish believed um, in the Old Testament see, because they are expecting a Messiah what's, see what's interesting is yeah you have, um, yeah. there's a very interesting verse in Quran. It mentions yeah. about the وَقَالَ تَلْيُهُودُ لَيْسَ تَنْدَسَارَ عَلَى شَيْءٍ وَقَالَ تَنْدَسَارَ لَيْسَ تَلْيُهُودَ عَلَى شَيْءٍ وَهُمْ يَتِلُونَ الْكِتَابِ It mentions that the Jews say yeah. the Christians are upon nothing. Okay, yeah. yeah. And the Christians will say the Jews are upon nothing. Okay. Because for the, for the Jews, yeah. what, however people present it politically okay. today, the Jews believe that Christians are idol worshippers okay. because they worship Jesus, Amen. they yeah. believe he's a false prophet, yeah. they believe, etc. They said yeah. bad things about him and his mother. Of course. The Christians, they yeah. believe because the Messiah came and, yeah. and the Jews rejected him. Yeah. According to the Bible, the Bible is very harsh against the Jews. Like Jesus, according to the Gospel of John, yeah. Jesus calls them the, the sons of the devil. Yeah, because of the hypocritical yeah, things yeah. that we're doing. And not recognizing him as the Messiah. Yeah, not, uh, it's, it's the hypocritical things that we're, they were doing. Yeah, in the Gospel so, of Matthew, they're called vipers, they're yeah, called hypocrites. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Gospel of Matthew, mm. it's, it says that the Jews said to Pontius Pilate mm. that we take the blood of Jesus on mm. ourselves and upon our sons. So Christian Europe, mm. in the history, has understood that the Jews are responsible. Even Paul says that the Jews are responsible for the death of Jesus. Of course. So, yeah. What I mean to say is, mm. we have a, a time when people yeah. try to present that they're, yeah. they're, you know, they call it 
Christian judo values or yeah. judo Christian yeah. values yeah. and judo Christian but really th they're separate so th but the thing is I wouldn't agree with that let me just come from let me okay, just come okay, from okay, okay okay so it mentions that the yeah. Jews say the Christians are upon nothing okay the Christians say the Jews are upon nothing yeah but they recite the same book of course yeah the, so the, the Jews, oh, well, the, the, Jews, the, the Jews don't accept Testament. what's called the New Testament, yeah, yeah. and the Jews. But when yeah. the Christians read the Bible, yeah. and the Jews read the Bible, yeah. they come they come out with completely different things. So, do they? Yes. No, they don't. I'll tell you why. Okay. When you have, like, for example, um, yeah, a Christian will tell you that this is Jesus prophesied in the Old Testament. Yeah. The Jews will tell you. We never understood it that way. Yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. doesn't fulfill the like Isaiah yeah. 11, etc. Yeah. It talks about when. Whoa, whoa. The, yeah, so Isaiah 11 talks about when the Messiah comes, yeah. there will be complete peace on the earth. Yeah. And the Jews, will, the Jews, will, and other verses say the Jews will have the upper hand. The temple yeah. will, the temple will be rebuilt. I think yeah. Ezekiel, etc. Yeah. They will establish the sacrifice again. So. When, when Christians say this verse is talking about mm. Jesus mm. and it's talking about that God will come, will come mm. the Jews will say no, this verse is not talking about Jesus, mm. this is talking about a Messiah who will come, Jesus never fulfilled this, Jesus never fulfilled this. Mm. The Christians will turn around and say yes, Jesus never fulfilled it, mm. but when he comes back the second time, so I, what I mean to say is the Jews and the Christians, they differ mm. on the interpretation of the Old Testament, even though they're both reading the same book. They're the same book, okay, yeah. yeah. I, see, I, see, I see what you mean with the interpretation. Um, but at the end of the day, it has to come down into what's uh, the reality of, of things, yes. rather than the interpretation. Yes. So for example, uh, uh, what's your name, brother? Yusuf. Yeah, I, I met brother Yusuf, you know, yeah. he's a Muslim guy. That. Yeah. But if I tell a, a next person, yeah. they'll say, "Oh, Yusuf is a um, he's he, he's an Arab. He's coming from from okay, uh, yeah. you know from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, That's yeah. how I interpret it because I know that most Muslims are yeah. Arabs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So interpretation is different to the reality of yes. things, right? Yes. So, for example, with the fulfillment of of things like the birth of um, of Jesus. Yeah. Now. We both know, me and you, we both agree that Jesus was born out of a Virgin uh, yes. Mary, right? Yeah. But also, in the Old Testament, I think it's... Isaiah um, chapter 7, verse says, 14. Yes, yeah, 7, 14. I was about to say Isaiah 9, 6. 7, 14. 9, 6 is even worse yeah, than the Christian. It, but like, why, why do you say that? Because Isaiah 9, 6, it yeah. mentions to, to us a son is given, yeah. uh, etc. And he will be called the mighty king, yeah. the everlasting father. Yes. Jesus can never be the everlasting father. So the, yeah. the, the Jews, when you come to this verse, yeah. they say this is talking about a king of the time called Hezekiah. Okay. And, it, and it was common in, um, in Hebrew culture yeah. to have agency. Okay, Someone okay, yeah. who represents God yeah. can take the titles of God yeah. without being God. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Christians, they read these verses yeah. and they will say, oh, Isaiah 9:6 yeah. is talking about Jesus. Okay. But the problem, but the problem is the Jews differ yeah. with the Christians. Yeah. But the verse itself says he will be called the everlasting the father. father. Yes. This is a heresy in okay. Christianity to say that the Son yeah. is the Father. No, really. Yes, really. No, you know why? Uh -huh. I'll tell you why. It's because when Jesus was on yeah. um, on earth, yeah. when he, like they said, show us the Father. I and the Father, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. So he's seen the Father, yes. right? Yes. So him himself, Jesus, uh -huh. is saying that like, I am the Father because you have seen me. Yes. You know, and then he also says in a, a, um, in John 8, 58, where he says, Before, Before Abraham, Abraham, I am. I am which yes. is the name, which we believe is the name of God uh -huh. in Exodus 3, 16, or 3, 14, sorry. Um, Exodus 3, 14, uh -huh. where it says, when, when Moses said, what shall uh -huh. I say, who sent me? And then God says, um, say, I am who I am, have sent you, yes. which is which translated is not, which to is Yahweh. Not, which is not I am. Which it's, is, not, it's not translated to Yahweh, it's interpreted to be Yahweh. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it goes on, it, it goes on to in, in the next um, verses where yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it carry on and saying that like, 